Hi everybody. I just wanted to drop in today because something has come to my attention which I think is quite important to have a conversation around. Um, only because I had a very real experience of something similar, not exactly the same, but something very similar when I was sick. And that was the fatigue and the despair that sets in. I'm just going to put that bit there before I start pointing at <laughs> the, de the despair and the fatigue that sets in when you think nothing's going to change here. I'm stuck. Nothing's going to shift. And it's really hard to keep that momentum of positivity going where you go. This is changing. Nothing's changing. It's the same. You kind of are stuck in this holding pattern. And I came across this when I was really sick. And for two years, I was basically housebound. I could sort of shuffle about a bit. Some days I just really couldn't get out of bed. I always tried to get out of bed and do something, even if it was just having a shower. But I had no energy whatsoever. And it was terrifying and frightening. And it was during a time when both my parents um, died. So I wasn't able to travel from Australia to the UK for their funerals. It was a really challenging time. And um, I felt kind of unsupported, I felt quite isolated. And it was really, really hard. And the reason this has come up is because I've had a few comments um, coming my way coming through my awareness around people in Europe going, I'm not quite sure when I'm going to see you again or if I will see you again in, in this lifetime. And I think it's a really um, important conversation to have because I so get that. I so get that feeling of will we ever, will we ever have a normal life again? I felt that, I felt like that. I would lie in bed and go, am I ever gonna be able to walk my dogs on the beach? Am I ever gonna be able to go out to a restaurant again? Will I ever be able to travel again? Will I ever be able to laugh with my friends again? Will I ever be able to work again? Will I ever be able to do fun things with my kids again? Oh my God, I know that place, it is it's desperate, it's really desperate and it's frightening and it's hard. And you know, even now when I can sometimes get hit like with a two, three days of some sort of flare up of a symptom because I've overdone it or something, I can still fall back into a pattern of going, oh my God, oh my God, this is it. You know, it's so quick to come back in and I have to work really hard to go, yeah, yeah, it's, all, it's just it's shifting, it's moving, it's just, it's all good, it's all good. Um, so my, from my experience, I'm just going to share this and how I cope with it, was allowing the feelings of despair to come and go, you know, I d did I tap on it? Sometimes I did. Even though I'm feeling these feelings of despair. Look at EFT, an emotional freedom technique. Even though I'm feeling all this despair and this overwhelm, I still believe it's possible for me to find joy and possibility in this moment. Uh, for me still to believe that there is a future where I will be able to connect with loved ones and people and travel again and do things. Um, so it's, it's both of those things. It's both the despair that you're feeling and the possibility of change. And I know for me that, um, that it started to change when I started to walk around my front paddock, just giving myself a very small, um, shift in consciousness and for you it might be um, 
you know, having pictures of people that you'd love to see again or places that you'd love to travel to again. I used to have a vision board that I had of all these places that I would like to go to when I was well and I would have foods that I wanted to eat again. So I created a vision board that really helped me start to invite in those possibilities into my life. Um, and that's something that I do with, with clients in a slightly different way, but it is all about building visual um, content to help us focus and invite in um, possibilities, whether it be parts of ourselves that are cheerleading and, 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 and can help us open up to um, the possibility that it will all shift and change, or whether it's just creating a, an image. Um, for me, um, I do things like I follow people who are still traveling. So I currently am following on Instagram a pilot who's a cargo pilot and he he um, he's still flying all around the world. And so I still get to go to different places by vicariously living through his life. And um, I used to do that a lot with Instagram and Facebook. I used to live my life according to, you know, I'd watch other people doing things and go, oh my God. So, you know, if you're in Europe, follow some people in Australia who aren't wearing masks, who are traveling around, who are out for, for dinner and things like that. Um, because it really does kind of give you that, instead of going into that, oh my God, you know, if I look at that, it's just gonna make me feel jealous and pissed off that I don't have it look at it as let me know that it's still possible that that still exists and invite more of that into my life um so if you've got any questions at all please do put them in the comments or direct message me um because i'm really happy to talk more about this and um to share things that really help me. Um, I would also watch um, lots of DVDs and videos, like I watch Ewan McGregor in Long Way Down and Long Way Round, lots of kind of adventure, exciting things going on. I watch Casey Neistat. Um, there's loads of things on YouTube for free that you can watch that will remind you what traveling feels like, looks like. Um, you know, dinner, hugging loved ones, going to a wedding, what all, all of those things. Um, just invite them in and know that it's possible still. I know at the moment it kind of feels like, oh, it's not. But if we keep, if we, if we shut our mind to that possibility, then we're almost enabling that vision of something different to, to be possible too. So the more we envisage, you know, us being able to connect, us being able to travel, us being able to, to do things um, again, the more likely that will happen in our lives. Anyway, listen, um, I hope this has served. And as I say, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'd be delighted to answer them. And sending you lots and lots of love. If you are in that lockdown fatigue, whether you keep going into it, you know, we keep having little pockets here in Australia, but you know, whether you've just, you're just done, you're exhausted, you've been, you know, you're in the UK or in the States and you're just like, oh my God, it's just, it's enough. Know you're not alone, know that you will get through this, um, know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and um, even though it's hard to see, trust me, everything is possible everything is possible. Anyway, sending you lots of love, as always.